Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about how to apply limits to your joints. Now, when I'm talking about joints, I am talking about the assembly environment inside of Autodesk Inventor. And we have the joint command over here on the top. Now what we have here in front of us is a generic Kurt vise. For those of you that don't know, you typically find these vices inside of machine shops. Now the vise is typically used to hold your part in place while you are machining a part, right? Adding some sort of tool paths and machining those features. So let's go ahead and apply a joint, slider joint in this case. We want the moving jaw to go up to this fixed jaw, stop there, and also limit the distance or the amount of travel it has to eight inches. So first things first, let's go ahead and select a joint. Now we are going to want a slider joint in this case. Zoom in. Let's go ahead and select the joint for this first moving jaw. Now the orientation of this glyph is extremely important, right? So it's going to be telling you or indicating to you which direction it's going to be traveling in. In this case, that's going to be correct. Let's go ahead and select our second glyph, right? So we kind of get a preview of what's going on. We notice that it's not oriented correctly or positioned correctly. No worries. Let's go ahead and select our second alignment here. Select the opposite face and hit OK. All right, so now we have the correct orientation here, the correct position for this moving jaw. Now you'll notice though that it is going through that fixed jaw, right? And it's also not limiting the travel to eight inches. So let's go ahead and apply those limits now. So once again, going back into the slider joint and editing that joint. Next tab over is going to be the limits tab. Now we want to start off at the zero position and we want to end at minus eight. Right? So I can just constrain it to zero and eight inches. Go ahead and hit okay. So now if we move the sliding or the moving jaw forward, it stops at zero. Move it back, it stops at eight inches. So that's been how to apply limits to your joints. Hope that helps.